Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, they're shouting now, but those arguments didn't even convince 50 of his own MPs, <laughs> who suddenly found that they had urgent business elsewhere yesterday, Mr. Speaker. But we know why he's hiding the impact assessment. The Labour Party's own previous analysis claimed that this policy could cause 3,850 deaths. So are the numbers in his impact assessment higher or lower than that? Minister. Mr Speaker, we're taking this decision to stabilise the economy. That means we can commit to the triple lock. By committing to the triple lock, we can make sure that payments of state pension are higher and therefore there's more money in the pocket of pensioners, notwithstanding the tough action that we need to take. But he goes around pretending that everything's fine. That's the argument he tried in the election. And that's why he's sitting there and we are sitting here. Mr Speaker, as a glimpse, in Wales, the Labour government hammered farmers, hitting them with top-down eco-targets. And Labour's own assessment of those plans said that it would lead to thousands of job losses, less food security and destroy rural incomes, while farmers described it as bleak and damaging. So can he reassure English farmers that he won't threaten their livelihoods and can he rule out imposing those same top-down targets here? Prime Minister. We will work with farmers across the whole of the United Kingdom as we've made clear to support them. But here we are, absolutely clear, no contrition, no responsibility for the economic black hole, the broken NHS, the prison crisis, the ruinous legacy of 14 years of failure. We've started rebuilding the country, renters reform, house building, GB Energy, National Wealth Fund, Border Security Command, I could go on, whilst they try to rewrite history. We're getting on with building a better country for the future.